Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. It is good to have you back. Thank you very much for joining us. Today, now, we are playing Draw Fighters on the PS4. So, do you know anything about Draw Fighters? I, ever, I checked in a little bit of this. Uh, Wildbit Studios passed me the code to try this out, which is very, very wonderful for, of them. Uh, Draw Fighters looks to me like a almost Pokemon-esque arena fighter thing where you're using like rock, paper, scissors skills versus creatures to choose the right one to fight the thing. It's interesting. I like the concept behind it. The world is weird and goofy. And uh, there seems to be a level to this that actually is designed around creating your own characters and creating your own designs using an external app that's not part of the game directly. So uh, there's a lot more to look into in this game, but what we're here to look at is the first few minutes of the gameplay. So we're gonna check it out from the early stages, the very beginning of the game to see what is actually worthwhile and if it's cool, if it's interesting, if it's worth, if it's gonna catch your attention and bring dreams of entertainment and delight. I don't know, what, what, what do you think is gonna happen? It's a fucking video game. I bring the best. I bring the best, and that's what they know. I don't know. I don't know if you have what it takes for this. I'll have to work hard with you if we want to win any combat. Let me see what I can do. No good, dokey. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, kid, I managed to sign you up in the great tournament of the three volcanoes. It's not going to be easy. But I think if you follow my lead, if you are disciplined and use your head for something besides holding your hat, I think we can win. The rules of the tournament are very easy. We will pitch our three draw fighters against another team of three until one of the two teams runs out of fighters. Ding ding! We win! So yeah, basic improvise of it is three on three, um turn-based combat. And you actually have to use skills and abilities that your characters might have to survive the fight, uh, survive the attacks, and be able to take out on your opponent. Like I said, rock, paper, scissors kind of things. One beats other, other things defend against others. Meanwhile, it's probably a little bit more elaborate than that. Essentially, a very weak-ass Pokemon in a lot of ways, but with weird-ass character designs. Today live for the DRWF from the Guacamole Volcano Tournament. First stop in these three tournaments. Today, we have a combat between a new aspiring draw master and one of the draw fighter teams that performed best during last season in this tournament. Team Freaky. Freaky Dicky. That is so true. Let's hope the new challenger doesn't get a terrible beating from these real beasts. Well, let's do a quick briefing of the fight rules for those spectators joining us now. Both teams feature three fighters, but there can be only one in the ring. Swapping fighters is allowed, provided the new one is not already knocked out. The first team that knocks out its rivals will be the winner. Whoop, whoop. Each turn, one of the three available skills can be chosen. But beware, the fastest draw fighter will move first. Well, the fight is about to start in the DRWF. Remember, always play, always create, and always enjoy! Alright, I haven't I picked one there and I'm not too sure if it was worthwhile. Oh god, this guy doesn't look good. Right, so I'm assuming he's going to be slow but strong, but let's see if it's worthwhile. What can I do to attack? Uh, it's gonna be the square button. Good footwork. That creature has ants in its pants. Oh, that hurt. Damn. Well, that was effective. It's just impossible to keep track of it. It's so fast. Well, there you go. Ha! Down he goes. Today, 
That was enough to put him down. So yeah, that's one out of the three down. Of course, you can fast forward the combat and spray, jump across a little bit faster. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to go now. Jump out. Damn! I've been wounded? Oh man! Ow! Yeah, he's not gonna survive this. Oh shit, yes I did! Hey! He's probably gonna lose an R1 from this anyway, but... We'll see. Oh, down the last one. Yeah, I'm going down. I'm not going to survive this. Oh, nice. He went for that instead. Did that do absolutely zero damage to him? What the fuck? I suppose he defended first before. So, um... We're gonna go with Cornblower. The dude who set fire to his uh, running machine earlier on, I think. Not good. Alright. Oh, he's weak to that? Shit, yeah. <laughs> I'll wipe him out. Down you go. What's this last one? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> That'll hurt for days to come. Move fast. Hey! Oh, took him down that quickly. So I didn't even have to go down to the last guy. But that dude obviously looked like a normal S Kenny human, so I'm assuming he was a drawn in character in some way, shape, or form. So maybe it's just like the quality of the characters based on how well you draw them, but that one looked pretty nice. You have to draw both of them to make them bigger. Of course, Mike. I'm a whiz. And I knew my knowledge. Okay. So continuing on the game. So obviously that was actually the three fighters I had for the first time played through. Um, I don't think I, I didn't get to choose those ones, but those like almost like demo fighters are showing. Well done, kid. Looks like you're beginning to do things the smart way. You've got a lot of space for improvement, though. It seems, however, that I'm not wasting my time with you completely. Have a seat. I have some things to explain to you. By leveling up, you have earned a few skill gems and some development gems. You can use them to improve your fighter attributes and purchase new skills to use in combat. You better get down to the team management room to have a look. Okay. Oh, so there's two-player mode as well, so there actually is a proper two-player for this. Down to the gym to give people stuff. Alright, so that's my three guys as is. Okay, so what can I do with these guys? Alright. So obviously there's actually a pretty rich skill list here? What is wow. Okay. So on guard, stone throw, claw slash strength. So I'm assuming you can buy one of these. Alright, so collection, elemental, mystical, and magical. And do that for each character. Um, so anything in this section I could pick up and use. So maybe buy a healing skill. Okay, accept. Uh, 
How many skills? Oh, I only have one skill. All right, so I only got one gem to spend. Okay, now I get you. That's be something in the right. Oh, and okay, so elementally, it's actually something that's actually relevant to your character that actually ends up helping you pick it for the cheaper. So you actually like work your way up a tier. That makes sense. So. I'm trying to think what should be going with lizard skin. Or. So how to heal your team's wounds for a time. Heal your team's wounds? Yeah, that'll do the job. I'll take that one. So, how do I select that? And I use it to replace one of them. Uh, probably use it to replace strength. Would it not be make sense? So, that's the one gem that I had. And then development is for actually spending on skills. So... Yeah. He has pretty high health. So I'll spend it on him to actually get him up and health a wee bit. And then spend it on... Oh, is each one for each character? Sweet! Okay, so... him up and that brings he's got none left he's got six left so drop it into one and two three and four five six boom there we go so that's it done boom sorted oh you can, and so you can actually take them uh, the gems up and down as you need whenever you require them that's not too bad I like that that's pretty cool so whenever you actually develop your characters, you actually do it uh, temporarily for whatever point you're actually doing. And we'll continue the story. So yeah, we're going to just play one more mission of this to actually check out been to because obviously that was like a predetermined kind of like thrown in straight in first fight. But um, this looks like fun as uh, if, if you really get into your monster kind of crafting and growing kind of games. Uh, it's very rare to see someone like this floating up onto the PS4 in the first place, but it's very well designed. I mean, since these arenas don't look bad, the combat is fairly simple, but we'll see what we got. Uh, let's go with you first. Unbelievable! Wow! It's a tough situation! the aspiring draw master. Watch out! The fight's about to start in the DRWF. Remember, always play, always create, always enjoy! enjoy. Okay, my turn. Haha! <laughs> Wounds get worse! Asshole! <laughs> Not doing too bad of a damage. Hopefully, like, I'm just looking at the design of the characters, like, is, are these, like, three, do they design 3D models and then they actually create them into characters into this game? Is that what the, the, the draw tool, the draw master part is? Because this actually seems like a fair, this almost feels like what are, what the Pokemon Stadium games were like back whenever they came out in the N64, where you just slot in your game, like, yeah, you can use the generic guys, but you really want to actually train up your own characters. Ow. 
Loving this heal. So useful. <laughs> I love the fact that he's actually like literally just they're being getting injured every single time they're buying out of the ring. Alright, fair enough. Go ahead, throw stone throw. I don't care. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, so I'm essentially just gonna force my way through this fast now. Uh, 16, fuck it, that'll take you down, it's just hopefully. To keep track of it. Nope, not quite. It's so fast! Slashy slashy deathly time. Bam! Down you go! The fight has been incredible. Nicely done. So yeah, the combat is really fairly simple. Um obviously as soon as I got that Hey, for beating the shaman's team. Oh my. So I'm assuming those stones are used for different kinds of leveling and gooing up with your character as you go through these. Um, yeah, it's a simple kind of paint by numbers monster well, training game. Uh, who would have imagined you had managed to overcome some very special draw fighters created by the shaman himself? A powerful and greedy sorcerer able to transform drawings into draw fighters. As a reward, you have been given a magical draw fighter stone. Using it, you will manage to persuade the shaman into transforming your own drawings into new fighters. Download the shaman application on your tablet or smartphone device so you can draw new fighters using them in order to face the next combats with a great advantage. Or better yet, use the shaman app to capture your drawings created in the draw fighters fighting books so you don't need any new magical stones. What are you waiting for? Well, there you go. Cool. So that's essentially what was just explaining the mechanics behind it. It really is just a, uh, it's, it, there's an app that actually like makes you, like, you create characters that you had customized for yourself in this. So we can jump in and continue the story a wee bit further. But I'm, 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 I'm curious to find out what happens next now. So essentially once you know that you can create your own fighters and you can train them up and fight them on, what do you do in this? And um, with the how easily I was taking those guys down, I think I might actually just wander into one more fight with this and just see where it goes. So I'm, I'm just, I'm pat patently curious now. Okay, we've reached the quarterfinals so it's the quarterfinals of this tournament. Boom, we're going to jump straight in with that one. Can this new fighter overcome its rival? It's hard to say, Mike. It's still too soon to know, but the challenger is doing an amazing job. It seems that the aspiring draw master has reinforced the team with new combat skills and better attributes. Let's see its performance against the team. Well, that's rocking out. In the family circle. Oh, I'm What's paralyzed? That? So Man, but even being inferior, it all depends on the skills you. Let's see. Well, so I'm just gonna have to suffer the move, aren't I? Um. Always play. Yep. Always create. Always enjoy. Ow. That's not good. Let's get the big guy in here. He's got plenty of health to actually be able to take the damage. Ow. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling full steam! Jump across back to you, so we can start healing the team. Yep, that's what I thought it was going to be. Better to actually poison this guy, or well, claw him so it actually does him more damage. There we go. Down you go. So I'm actually just accelerating through this as fast. Oh. 
Oh, I'm paralyzed, you son of a bitch! Well, if I'm paralyzed, I still get the move. Ow. Oh! Alright, it didn't paralyze me after I'd actually already gotten the attack in. That's alright then. Boom! Down you go! Nope, you're still going down. It seemed unable to do anything else, but it's back. Yeah! It's been a -hoo -hoo! Fun. Literally just end up winning just by default whenever actually that last one was actually going in. Uh, right, so this actually wasn't too bad. Literally, it feels like a Pokemon fighter, three on three teams, with a balancing issue that may need to be discussed. Where characters at the low levels, but yeah, that was actually quite enjoyable. Characters, of course, leveling up. I could easily spill that into um, the characters and actually level them up a little bit more now that they're up all the level three. So yeah, this game's actually kind. Of, this game has its own fun to it. Um, did, I have, did I get any gems? I got three gems. Woo! All right, so I might as well buy myself something for these characters. Um, bam, embers. Very effective. Right, uh, fill yourself up with Marachi Pride. Your power increases temporarily. What a smell, you let a fart out. And the enemy team is choking while the stink lasts. Ah, <laughs> nice. Okay, so. I think I'm just actually enjoying the power of that attack as it is, so I might just leave that as is. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I might wait until I actually have something else to really drop into that, so I'm just gonna go in here and just up their stats. So, um, yeah, what are we going to spend here? That's six more, so three that, and three on that. Boom. And on you, probably another one, two, three, four. Script, going all the way up. <laughs> and your attack's pretty fast anyway, so we're going to give you plenty of health, and then use the rest on your attack then. Boom. Right, that works for me. These guys are feeling good! So, essentially one of these volcanoes, so there's a Guacamole Volcano, a Quesadilla Volcano, the Tex-Mex Volcano, and you work your way up from one to the other until you become all commands and become the champion of the Great Tournament and the three volcanoes your promoter will lead you lead you in this crazy adventure. Alright, cool. And then training is training, I imagine. And then two players is a versus game. Hey JP, how's it going? Thanks for coming back. We're still playing through a little bit of draw fighters now. If it'll load at any point, that'd be the matter question. Oh, so training literally is just a another round of it. Okay, well, that's weird. Oh, this is fighting against the first ones that we fought against for last time. Innate capacity can be decisive. Oh, <laughs> super effective. Innate capacity <laughs> can be decisive. <laughs> that innate capacity can be decisive. Let's just pummel the shit out of him! Down you go. 
So this is the fact that I'm fast forwarding through this because um, I think I've got I think I've got the rhythm of this game now. I think that's what I've gotten down to. It's like it is turn based, so. Yeah, plus six, minus two. Ah. Oh, that hurts! What a blow! Oh, I'm finishing him off! Finishing him off! Its power is devastating. Yeah, you're not winning this. Oh, the difference is huge! A oh, and down he goes! <laughs> From a slash death. Awesome. Woo! So yeah, you get experience, right? So uh, the point of doing the um, training, I suppose, probably is to get yourself a little bit more experience. And keep training, but no. Nah. That's essentially what it is. It, the, game is the game is very similar about what it is. So uh, we can take a look at the Shaman. Oh, we got a magic stone for visiting the Shaman as well. We have two of them. So obviously there's an app here that we can actually check out and it takes you into further parts of the game. Now, we've seen what you can do with the game just as is. There obviously is so much more outside of that that this game is related to. So if you wanted to check it out, I imagine the app itself and the tools for playing this game are available for people to try out as it is. So all you have to do is take a picture of that QR code and or look for the Shaman or look for Draw Fighters in the app store to be able to check it out. I'm assuming it's a drawing app where you can actually like Play around with a 3D model and then get it designed in, uh, popped into the game if you have these magical stones to use as materials. But yeah, that's cool. Actually, like, uh, I, this is a fun game. It literally is. It's a, it's kind of a gotta catch them all battler kind of game. I would look forward to seeing this kind of expanded out for multiple players and uh, what else that can be done with it. But this is a game type that doesn't really get done very often outside of Pokemon. And there's a reason why, because Pokemon is so unbelievably good at it. But Digimon rocked. Um, Cyber Sleuth I need to still play through, and so is, what's the other one? Digimon Next Dimension. There's two games that I need to check out that are very, very similar in this style. Um, there's also, uh, what was the other ones? Uh, Monster Rancher as well, which was almost like that. They, it's a, there was a period of time where it was all games, like a whole bunch of games were trying to do the same thing, but now, because Pokemon's been around for so long, maybe it's time for something like this to show up again. Maybe it's time for a craft your own creatures battler game to come out. Where Whatever happened to barcode battlers, you know? That's what we're missing out on these days. We're missing out on ingenious ideas, like taking the barcodes from your cereal and finding out what kind of monster lies within. So guys, thank you very much for watching this. If you actually enjoyed playing me playing through Draw Fighters and showing you some of the game's content, then make sure to hit the subscribe button right here. If you had any questions or thoughts about the game, make sure to drop them into the comments below or have a discussion about Pokemon and Digimon and which one was better. I personally liked Digimon the TV show, but I liked Pokemon the game. So take that for what you will. Even the third season. I really enjoyed the third season. So yeah, um, if you don't want to do the subscribe thing, completely understand, just do the pastiche of skin thing. Just make sure to just look up the name, memorize the name, and search for me because I'm not trying to hide. It's easy to find me. And if you happen to be looking for me anywhere else, well, other than YouTube, then this is the way to do it. That word. But if you're on YouTube, button up here to subscribe, button right here to actually go to a playlist, but over there for the most recent video, and one right here, just for you, based on the user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube, there is a video right here, sitting right there. That is one that is designed for you to enjoy. So I recommend you click on it and check it out. And then see it, and I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. We're not one there. Bye.